contribution to Thanksgiving dinner. We're having it at my daughter-in-law's parents' house. I'm making deviled eggs. Of course, the main ingredient is the egg. And after that, I'm using some spicy pickles chopped up and normally mayonnaise or Miracle Whip, Walmart's brand of Miracle Whip. Then I'm going to be using this pink Himalayan salt, some black pepper, and some organic yellow mustard. And then I'm going to top it off with this ground paprika or some maraschino cherries i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right and for my dinner tonight i am making myself a cheese bagel with whipped cream cheese i feel like i want iced coffee with this i do want some coffee because i have a not a lot of stuff i just want to get some more stuff done i bought some greens too so i'm gonna like cook that whole bag of greens and divide it out and freeze it just so that i can have vegetables because i don't eat enough vegetables and what was I looking for I think I was looking for this and this is Stokes bold and smooth and this is not too sweet so it is a sweet iced coffee because I have um, I have been really on an iced coffee type of kick so I drank all the one that's not sweetened yeah I think I'm gonna have some of this because I need something Something, child. Something. really disappointed in the turnout um it was like so hard peeling these eggs i just bought these eggs from walmart this evening did not float in the water where i hear that the fresher they are they'll float and also i heard i never have this problem like this this is so embarrassing how am i supposed to bring this as a side uh, hors d'oeuvre or whatever i'm upset i don't know what i'm gonna do the ugly ones, I'm going to make them, put them in here so they'll look pretty. And the other ones I'll just put in my um, cake taker. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Why? 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 Anyways, I'm going to just go sit down somewhere because this has been a trying evening. In more ways than one. The eggs look rough. I'm embarrassed. I'm gonna be using this china platter to put them on instead of what I showed you in the first clip. But I have so many of the egg yolks and I kind of break it down with a fork until it's like powdery like that. And then I start adding these things. By the way, I eyeball these things. I don't have an exact measurement. I like to stir in the salt and pepper first and then make sure that's perfectly blended because otherwise I feel like if I put the wet ingredients in, I'll have chunks and spots where there's no flavor. Now for these two ingredients. Starting out with a couple of dollops. Well, I'll do three dollops. And then I'm just going to squirt the mustard on top. And this is the mustard. Oh, I hate it when you get that watery part. I shook it up, but I'm not going to go too much on the mustard because I am going to be using spicy pickle juice in it.
And I'm gonna just mix this until it's creamy and all blended and mixed together. Um, I gave it a taste test and it was fine. The proper blend of the Miracle Whip, mustard, salt, and pepper. So now I gotta stir it up and then be brave enough to test taste the um, spicy pickle juice in here. And then see if I need to add maybe some more eggs or... back to another video in the first clip you're going to be seeing like the little groceries that i picked up and that's going to be for a girls night out slash technically in because we're staying in picked up a few things that you could snack on this evening and some breakfast items i decided to do this vlog because today is saturday and monday and tuesday i'm off i can like kind of do stuff to kickstart my birthday which is november 30th and then I'm also um, using this for a, a time to kind of declutter, get rid of stuff, thin things out so that I can see what I have for my Christmas stash. So I know what I need to run out and buy to just make things look festive in here. I'm so excited for the holidays. I'm so excited for having our new addition to our yearly Christmas event, which is my, uh, my latest grandchild, which is my grandson. And usually you'll see him at the end of my video. So if you ever watch my videos, Please just watch until the end and you will get a cameo of my grandson as he grows. He's so adorable and I love um, having him in my videos one way or another. I wanted to do this intro to let you know that this video is going to start off my birthday weekend and then lead on into maybe some Christmas decorations and things that I do. All right, so I'm rambling right now and I'm going to let you go and see you on the next so clip. in this clip i'm just showing you the stuff that i got for my girls night out i should say girls night out technically in i have some doritos some sara lee everything bagels two avocados and then i have these little baby bunts lemon um what do you call those they're little bunt cakes New England clam chowder. I don't really know much about clam chowder if it don't say New England. Two of those. A pasta salad. Looks really good. Got some gum. Anybody want gum? And then I got some macaroni salad. And then cheese bagels. And then for the bagels, I have either avocado and I also have cream cheese. So we have all the coffee. I bought this Tarani's Caramel Syrup a while back. We can use that in our coffee in the mornings. Brookside Dark Chocolate. These are so good. Kind of been craving um, sushi and with all of this holiday food, I'm kind of over that. My birthday's coming up, so that's a come where I'm starting it out with a girls night out technically in. And Tuesday, we put up my tree or start decorating Christmas-wise. You know, the thing I've been doing for over 30 years. All right, so that's my girl's night out in...
Welcome back to another video. My name is Teresa M, AKA 50 plus 2013. I just got my new iPhone for my birthday. Birthday's tomorrow, today's the 29th. I had wanted to have this for my birthday because I need a phone, but then I wanted to say, this is your birthday present. So I got this for myself. tomorrow my youngest daughter she took off work because I took off work and we're gonna go um, hang out in Ikea they want to buy me some pieces that I've been looking at because I kind of wanted to revamp my living room a little bit because it feels so tight and crowded it's such a small space that normal size furniture just overcrowds it plus the simple fact my granddaughters are bigger or taller than me they're not bigger than me but they're taller than me and it feels so tiny and congested in there now that they're they're grown folks height and grown folks size so i'm saying you know i can stand to get rid of some bulkiness in there and and slim it down and streamline it my two daughters are going to be buying me um, something that i've been having on my wish list at ikea hi baby <laughs> yeah. i think wait right Low bag, low power. Hey. Hi. <laughs> My son, he just want to come over and cook for me, but I'm urging him not to do that. And y'all keep him in prayer because he had a close friend pass away. And I think that's my son's first time having someone pass away that wasn't in our family. And the simple fact is, by my son just turning 40, I can only imagine that he feels like, wow, death, you know, you can feel like death is really inevitable. You can know that and not feel it, but you can know it and then feel it. Like, life is short. So he's going through a little bit. He's trying to help his friend's wife out and contacting people. But I can only imagine that's a little bit stressful for him and just unreal, like, um, like kind of like an unreal moment. Like, wow, my friend, I was just talking to him on the day before Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Day. He's no longer here. I'm going to finish running some running my errands and then I'm gonna go home and we might go ahead and um, put up my tree but I got a brand new tree so I'll unbox that with you too I have to go to UPS and the eye doctor my glasses they were way too tight for my face I wasn't wearing them now they adjusted it so it's all good so I will talk to you on the next clip Yeah. Oh, my God. 